The Meta Business Account. What on earth is it? Why should you care what it is? And how do you set one up? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna be walking you through today. What's up everybody? Alvaro here from Alvaro Barrios Digital. And today I am talking to you about the Meta Business Account. Now, if you are running ads, you should most definitely have a Meta Business Account set up. So first, let me dive into what it is before I show you how to set an account. So a Meta Account is just an umbrella account that houses all of your assets. So it can house your ad account or multiple ad accounts for that matter, it can house your Facebook business page, your Instagram profile, your WhatsApp account. And it also does allow you to add team members in there as your team grows, making it easier for you to assign things to your various team members. So that is the big benefit right there of having the meta business account. Most people think, oh, I've got my personal ad account. There's no point for me to have a meta account, but there are a lot of inherent uh, benefits of having this set up for you. The other thing too, is that it actually makes your account safer. There are additional uh, measurement protocols to prevent your account from being hacked and also when you do set up a meta business account your account quality score which is just a measurement of health and safety of your account for lack of a better phrase um, goes up so Facebook wants you to have a good high account quality score and the more that you do that makes them happy increases your account quality score so you want to be as uh, compliant as possible in Facebook size that way you don't have a false disabling of your account later in the future. So now that you understand what a meta business account is and what the benefits are, let's go ahead and dive right in into how to create an account for your business. Okay, so in order to get started, you're gonna to wanna to head over to business.facebook.com forward slash overview. It's going to take you to this page right here and you want to go ahead and click on create account. So you're gonna enter the name of your business, right? So I'm gonna put it in mine, Alvaro Barrios Digital. And then obviously you put your name right here, you put in your business email address. And then you go ahead and click submit. I am gonna modify my name here a little bit because I actually already have a meta business account. Um, so I don't wanna have duplicate names and it cause the confusion. So I can just say Avril Bills Digital Agency for this one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click submit. All right, so now I get the confirmation email address. Let me go do that and we'll get on to the next step. All right, so now that my email has been verified, you're going to be redirected to a page that looks a little bit like this. Now, when you get here, when you first initially create your meta uh, business account, it's actually going to be completely blank. Uh, obviously, we're here on my page and mine has existed for a little while now, so that's why we're seeing things. But normally, this would be a blank page and here you would start adding all of your various assets such as your Facebook business page, Instagram account, so on and so forth. Um, I will come back to this page here so you can kind of see some of the benefits that you get once everything's integrated. But you're gonna to get to this blank page and actually the first thing you want to do is click on the settings button right here in the bottom left. And then this is here where you can start adding the different assets to your account. Um, so here you can just give some general business account info and then start adding in some business assets such as pages, ad accounts, Instagram accounts, uh, and more. So if I want to add a Facebook page, my Facebook page uh, specifically, right, I'm gonna click on add asset and then I'm gonna select Facebook page. And there's a couple different options right here. If you're a brand, brand new business and you actually have yet to cre create a Facebook business page, you can go ahead and select this option right here. If you're an existing business and you just want to move your Facebook business page into your Meta Business Suite, again, Meta Business Suite, it's just an umbrella account that houses things for you. So you wanna click on this option right here of claim an existing account. Uh, and then what you're gonna do right here, you're gonna put in the URL of your actual business name and then you will be able to confirm the um, addition of your Facebook business page. I'm gonna go back here for a second. You can also um, do request to share access to a Facebook page. So this would be something like in my case where I'm an agency, I don't want to claim someone else's business page because they're not my business, but I wanna work with them. I have to run ads for their page. And so I would go with this option right here. You can also do the same thing for your Instagram account. So if you select this, you have to agree to your business terms and then you click on claim Instagram account and then it's actually gonna have you log into your Instagram account and then that way you can start housing it. Now, before you do that, you want to make sure that you go to Instagram and that you change your Instagram account or you confirm that your Instagram account is indeed a business profile and not a personal profile. Make sure you do that step first before you start going through this process right here. And then if you happen to have a what 
WhatsApp account that you also want to integrate in here, that's the option that you would select right there. A couple other things here when it comes to uh, advertising, here is where you can start adding in individual ad accounts. So you would click on here, and then you actually see a very similar option to what we saw earlier. You can create a brand new ad account if you're a brand new business and you're just getting started. This is the option that you want to select. If you have an existing ad account and it is yours and you want to claim it, then this is the option that you want to select as uh, right here. What you're going to do is that you're going to go here and you grab your ad account ID. Now, if you don't know where your ad account ID is, let me go ahead and show you where you can find it. So once you're inside of your ad account, uh, which by the way, to get there, just type in business.facebook.com forward slash ads manager. And then you're going to get to this page right here. And then you're going to see the name of your ad account. And then in parentheses, you're going to see your ad account number. So you're just going to want to copy that, paste that in here. And then that's how you can get access to that right there. Uh, alternatively, again, if you are an agency like me, you can actually then request access to an ad account. That way you're not claiming that it's yours, but you can still get in there, run ads and work with another business. And then finally, for some of the other things are here, if you are an e e-commerce business, there is this catalog option right here, which you do want to do. If you have something like Shopify or WooCommerce, there's an automatic integration between Facebook and Shopify and WooCommerce, which makes uploading your catalog super easy. Uh, and then there are other options here down for apps and stuff like that. But if you don't have an app, then you certainly don't need to worry about um, that there in that case. So that's how you start adding all of your assets that way. Then next, you also want to start adding people to your team. That way, hopefully at some point, you're not the one doing everything yourself. So in order to do that, you come over here to the people tab, and then you want to click on add people, and then you want to enter their email address, right? So I can just do something like sample at alvarobarrios.com. Perfect. And then click on next. And then here I can start choosing uh, how much control they have over the ad account. So if I have, for example, a business partner who has, uh, you know, a 50, 50 split stake in the business, right? I'm going to give them a maximum control, right? Cause they own the business just as much as I do. Uh, but rather if they're an employee, then I'm going to give them some, just some of the more basic controls that way they can go in there, make edits and whatnot, but they can't control the account. They can't add people They can't change my uh, payment methods, so on and so forth. So that's how you go ahead. And start adding people and then as you keep on adding people to your team you're going to see the list of everyone who has access to your ad account right here same thing with the business assets actually all right obviously here we're on mine you can see i can just keep on scrolling down here for quite a while um so I've got a number of uh, ad accounts and businesses and business pages that I have access to. Uh, and so you'll see everything that you have access to right here. And then once everything is set up, you've got your all your assets in there, Facebook page, Instagram account, you've got your people added. Then you can go to the home page right here and you start seeing everything. You can manage everything here. It's a central hub where you can manage everything. You can see any messages that are coming in. You can see that your most recent posts on your various profiles, whether it's your business page and it's your profile. Um, you can also look Look at all your notifications for anything that you might be receiving from Facebook ads themselves or on any of your platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. And you can also check out your ads over here and see what's going on in that respect. All right, and there you have it. So hopefully now you can go ahead and set up a meta business account for your business and you can bear the fruits and benefits of having this set up the right way. So if you have any questions about this process at all, as always, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you next time.